Well, what are we fixing today? Today, I'm in the basement, as you can see. I'm doing, well, I actually did most of the cleaning part of this before. Um, I cut you online because it was nothing exciting. So, we'll do a little bit of the cleaning at the end, I think. So, today, I'm going to do something, uh, well, we'll tell you about status of some things, and I'm going to do something which we talked about on another cleanup stream. So, let's, let's get started, okay? First of all, there's the vise that I took off of the other bench. I got in there, greased it up, welded a chunk of something on the nut that was down there, and now, now it's solid, right? Now I can, now I can tighten it, I can loosen it. I can make it go and mounted it down. So, you know, it's okay there. <laughs> so we did that. Then what we're going to work on today is this, 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 the two down there, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. I brought up at some point I want to make a uh, place to put these drills so that they're not like everywhere making my life crazy. We're going to put them in something. Now, I'm not sure this is going to work. I haven't actually seen this online anywhere, but I'm sure somebody does something like this. But uh, I came up with some 4 inch PVC. And, uh, like, holy crap, that was $18 for a four-port piece of forged PVC. Now, I could remember when that was about 10 bucks. So, holy crap, right? But, I think, I take these, cut it at about four inches, cut a notch in here, so that when you plug it in, otherwise, if you... If it's plugged in when you pull go like that then the drill just starts going so that's not good so i'm going to make a notch there make them about four inches long and uh i'm going to put about five of them here here's where i did the cleaning by the way put about five of them here and about five of them here i think that'll work well let's just mark it four inches Eight inches, twelve inches, sixteen inches, four, and then one more at four inches. Here I got a line. This is a center line. We'll use this as a center line. Um, so I just do that. That one's okay. I do this. That one's okay. So I'm one, two, and then this one. So why I'm doing that is, remember I also want to notch it. And I think the easiest way to notch this would be for me to use this. Just drill a hole here, halfway between two of the pipes, and then half of this will be the notch. We're just going to do one to start and to make sure it works. We'll take this little drill and start it. So the big drill that is very sharp will go in. Let's see, this is going to want to, I'm cutting this way, it's going to want to swing this way, so I'm putting it against the end over there, so it can't swing and hit me. Oh, I just saw something. 
I need to mark it a little differently because I'm going to be cutting off my mark. <laughs> yeah, that'll mark fine. And then this is another one I got to cut. There's another one I got to cut. So I'm just going to mark it farther down so that I can see it. All right. Let's finish the drill. All right, so there I have that. And when this goes over there, the, that will go under the notch. So now I'm gonna need to cut it off. All right, table saw. This has a carbide blade in it, but it's missing teeth. Whatever. We're just gonna see if we can get the whole thing in one bite. Yep. Okay. Should be good. I have clearance, Clarence. Turn on dust collector. All right, there's one. Now this, another good thing is if I, I cut the notch there, that means the words are on the bottom and you don't have to see them. So I should be able to set this in there, like that. I think I'll put you on a time lapse and uh, I'll drill and cut the rest of them for one of the sides. See if we can stack them together. Well, got some noise now because the air compressor is running. But I have my five pieces. This is what I'm thinking. Like so. Oh, I should. I'm going to take them on the sander. Let's rip this to it's five. Let's rip it to two and a half. Two and a half. We'll clear these.
So now we take two of them. So let's make sure where our disk length is here. I need 22. I got 29. So take two of them and cut them at 10 and 3 quarter. 10 and 3 quarter, 10 and 3 quarter. That'll be the two sides. Now the other two sides are going to be 10 and 3 quarter plus twice the distance of this. So let's measure that exactly. Should be 3 quarter. It is. So 10 and 3 quarter plus 3 quarter plus 3 quarter is 12 and a quarter, I believe. 10 and 3 quarter plus an inch and a half is 11, 12 and a quarter. So two of them are 12 and a quarter. And a quarter. All right, so I'll cut these off and make a box. Uh, that's probably the best place to assemble this. This flat surface. Uh, knots or crap down. Goes like that. And A little bit more. That one's at that angle, that one's at that angle. These are straight. Put this in. I want this out ways. These are down, that's up. Oh, this came apart a little bit. It's okay, actually. So the other one I'll make. Let me see it here. These can apart a little bit. Not terrible. The glue will still hold them. Looks like I need about another eighth of an inch to on the short ones. Maybe on all of them. So I can do that on the next ones. But now I think I want to do my mounting. Now the middles, I'm going to put bolts. And the outsides, I think screws. Let's make sure these are roughly flush. And I'm going to put some screws in here. Short screws. All right, down or sunk. All right. Now we gotta get out our favorite drill, right? All squeaky.
there's four of them mounted now as I was drilling that in I was thinking oh yeah I gotta bolt these right so let's just bolt them That'll work. Few more nails in there. So now we got a thing. Okay. So here we go. The idea is this mounts here. Now I don't want it sitting on the bottom. I think I want to be able to put stuff there, so I want it up. Could be tighter. That's probably enough already. However, I have a different opportunity on the other side. Let me change the lighting and I'll show you. So on the other side here, I have this drawer and this drawer keeps still wanting to fall out because See how this is like, there's no space there, there's a bunch of space there. This piece of wood really needs to be moved over. So now I got something to pry against. I could take a piece of wood, put it in here, and then screw it in and fill up the space, and then this drawer should stay in where it belongs. So, how big does that need to be? That is probably enough to do what I want to do. Now I just got to put a screw in there. Think that nailed it? <laughs> yep. So now this will get keep over a little bit more and it'll hope, hopefully hold that drawer a little better. And then I have this mounted plenty good. Okay.
else in that hole, even though it's grown bigger. That'll work fine. And, uh, well, I know I didn't run out of drills. There's a different one. Try a couple different ones in there. Here's a different one. So, that's working okay. So after we finish here, I'm just going to make another one of these. I'm going to put it in this hole. And then I should have a little space under here to do stuff. And, uh, and they won't have a pile of drills. And I might be able to actually use that uh, clamp bench, maybe. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. Okay. Well, that's my video for today. Hope it's helped you out. If you got any ideas how I could have uh, done that better, let me know. I think it's going to work for me, though. Do um, you want plans? Well, cut them into four inches and put a notch in and then bolt them together. So, you know, plans. That's that's the amount of that's more plans that I had when I went out and I uh, and I bought this um, seventeen dollar piece of pipe, right? Uh, if you want to use recycled pipe, you could do that. Um, I don't know that I would use uh, heating ducting pipe. I think that might be too sharp, so I wouldn't use that. Oh. Left oh, that's my wife. She left my friend's place, her friend's place. So, okay. That's, uh, like I said, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you liked it. And two likes if you didn't. Uh, leave me a comment if you got anything to add you to what I did here. That'd be great. Other than that, until next time, uh, watch out what you put in your left pocket because it might be a drill. Bye.